Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're adding integers. This is a worksheet found on mathdrills.com. There will be a link in the description below if you want to check it out. But they are a partner of West Explains Best, so make sure to give them some love. Let's go ahead and start with this. This is a topic I want to uh, say up front that really confuses students all the way through 11th and 12th grade even. Um, Negative and positive numbers can be tricky, especially when you're adding and subtracting. So I'm going to try to break it down. We're adding only here. And I want to preface this with anytime you have subtracting a negative number, so if you have like 1 minus a negative 3, the first step anyway is always to change it into an addition problem. So this would be changed into 1 plus 3. So keep that in mind that addition, uh, eventually you're going to have to get into adding integers. So if we're looking at these problems, one of the things you'll notice right away is it has these additional plus signs. Okay, so we have plus three, plus one. Normally you're not going to see that, but I understand why they show that in this drill because they want you to kind of see um, when you're adding and subtracting. Really what we're doing here is combining positive and negative numbers. So essentially we could rewrite this expression as negative two plus eight. We don't need those two plus signs in uh, in there. And actually, anytime you see two signs next to each other, like we did here, you're gonna wanna change it to have only one sign, like a plus, okay? And I'm gonna show you another example later on when we get into minusing, okay? So we have negative two plus eight. That's essentially the problem. You'll also uh, may hear that you can rearrange this to be eight minus two. Now, if I said eight minus two, you'd get it right away. It's six, clearly, okay? But if I say negative two plus eight, it really confuses some students. So what is going on here? So negative two essentially is a minus two. It's a negative two value. So if we have a number line here, and I'm just gonna draw a quick one just as an example. Okay, got my number line nice and straight. Of course, we have zero. Zero splits the positive num uh, numbers with the negative numbers. So if we have negative two, it'd be right around here. There's negative two. And then we have plus eight. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five. And actually, we don't need plus eight on here. Okay, let me grab it anyway, just to show you. Okay, I'm gonna extend this out a little bit. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so here's positive eight. Now, it's not this and then here and then I just like move it in some weird way. No, what I need to do is I need to, if you're gonna go left to right here, I would start on negative two. So this would be my starting point. And then what I'm doing, I'm looking at this one now, is I'm adding eight. So I'm essentially just gonna hop over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight units, I'm adding eight. And anytime you add, you go to the right on a number line. And anytime you subtract or add a negative, okay, Negative values go to the left, positive values go to the right. Positive values go to the right, negative values to the left, okay? And minusing is in this boat, adding is in this boat. Keeping in mind that negative values can be added and then it would be over here, okay? So we add eight to here and where do we land? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I end up on the value of six. Six is the value, okay? So number line is one technique. This one's just, I mean, we can rewrite it as a positive nine plus seven. We don't write the pluses in front of numbers. Uh, we just kind of, if it's blank, like it is here, there's this blank value, it just means it's positive, okay? So we can rewrite that one, and that one's simple, it's 16. All these ones that are just plus plus, those are gonna be pretty simple for you. Here's another plus plus, simple for you, okay? I'm more concerned with the negative ones, okay? So here's another negative one. Here we have, and this is the one I wanted to talk about, we have seven plus a negative one, okay? We don't need that plus sign in front of the seven, but we have seven plus a negative one. We have two signs here and we don't like that. We want one sign. So essentially what we can do here is we can do seven minus one, okay? So we can change plusing uh, or adding a negative as just subtracting, okay? And another way to think of it, back to the number line, I'm gonna erase this now. You can pause, rewind if you want that specific problem is if we had seven here, change the colors. If we had seven and we're gonna start on seven this time, okay, so we start on positive seven, and then we go in the negative one direction, okay? We're adding a negative one value to it. We're gonna go one to the left, okay? Because that's negative one, and we land on six. So this answer also is six, and we knew that because seven minus one is six. So my, uh, Favorite, favorite philosophy here is anytime you two, see two signs like that, either minus, minus, okay, if you see that, you're gonna change that to plus. If you see plus, 
a minus, you're going to change that to minus. Okay, and if there's obviously minus a plus, I mean, you, you wouldn't see that normally in this worksheet, you will, but if you see minus like 10 minus a positive 2, of course it's a positive 2. We don't need the plus sign in front of it, so it would just be 10 minus 2. So that one we don't even really need to write. So there's just two you need to worry about, and I'll even highlight it for you. Okay, these are the two you need to worry about. I don't want this video to be too long, so let me progress to the next topic I want to talk about, and that's we have two negatives being added together. So we have a negative 7 plus a negative 2, okay? Again, we have two signs here. If it's plusing a negative, essentially, we're just going to call it subtracting 2. So negative 7 minus 2. Now, I want to talk about another way to think of these problems. This is my favorite way to think about this. If we have negatives and positives, think of it as the negative team and the positive team, okay? So here we have the negative team and the positive team. Now, if they're two different signs, so in this case, we had two different signs. We had the negative team and we had the positive team. Then they're going to fight each other, okay? They're going to fight each other, and then the team that's bigger, that has more points, is going to win. So who had more, more points here? The eight. The positive team had more points, so this is a positive six. If we want, we can say positive six. We don't need it. But the positive team won. Now, the bigger team always takes some damage, though, equal to how much the negative team is, or the opposite team. So in this case, it took the positive team took two damage, and now it's down to six. Same thing here. We had a positive seven. It's on the positive team here, and then it goes up against the negative team right here. So the positive team is going to win, but only going to win by six points because the other team had one point. Okay, so only wins by six. But what happens if they're the same sign? Well, same sign for this, you guys already are very familiar. If we have a positive three and a positive one added together, well, they're on the same team, so they're going to get stronger together. So it's going to be a positive four. Same teams, it becomes stronger. Positive seven plus positive 12, they're on the same team. Then they're not going to fight each other, just going to get stronger. So you add them, and you get a positive 12. Okay, so now we're down to this guy. Plus 2, plus a negative 5. We're, we have opposite teams. Why? Well, yeah, I was actually doing this one. So we have negative 7 plus a negative 2. Same teams. Okay? Both on the negative, so they're going to get stronger. That means we're going to add these two numbers together. That's 9. Now, what team are we talking about? What team wins? Well, the negative team. There's only negative teammates out there, so it's going to be a negative 9, and that's going to be my answer. So same teams, they're going to get stronger together. I like to think of it as teams, and then opposite teams, they're going to fight. Here we have opposite teams. We have a positive 2 plus a negative 5. They're on opposite teams. They're going to fight each other. This is the negative team over here for this one. This is the positive team. Okay, So they're going to fight each other. Which team is stronger? The negative team is stronger. So the negative team is going to win. Okay, By how many points? Well, this guy does 2 damage. So it's not going to be negative 5. It's going to be negative 3. It's going to get smaller. So it's going to be negative 3. Okay, And then let's do a couple more. So here we have... Same teams, what's going to happen? Both are negative. Negative team will win because they're, that's the only team out there, and then they're going to get stronger together, negative 13. What's going on in this situation? If you said opposite teams, then you are correct. And what happens is they're going to fight. The bigger team wins, so that means it's going to be a positive number. And by how many points? It's going to win by five points. For positive numbers, you don't need the sign out in front, so this one is going to be an answer of five. Here we go. Let's do one more. So we have a negative 5 plus 4 plus a positive 4. Two different teams, so they are going to fight each other. The negative team is bigger, but he's only bigger by one point, one value, so it's going to be negative 1. Hopefully, this was a simplified way of doing uh, adding integers, adding positive and negative numbers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need more help with this particular worksheet or any other adding, subtracting negative numbers, please let me know in the comment section below, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.